Isang mapagpalang araw naman po ng linggo. Today is the first Sunday of uh, the month of December. Beer month na po tayo. Advance Merry Christmas po sa inyong lahat. At saka po, uh, belated happy birthday sa lahat po na nag uh, birthday ngayong uh, first week ng uh, December, especially po kay Nong Rico Gabilinyo, ang ating kapatid na mistizo. Happy birthday po sa inyo. In the book of uh, Luke chapter 1, verses 26 to 38, the Bible says, In the sixth month of Elizabeth's pregnancy, God sent the angel Gabriel to Nazareth, a town in Galilee, to a virgin pledged to be married to a man named Joseph, a descendant of David. The virgin's name was Mary. The angel went to her and said, Greetings, you who are highly favored. The Lord is with you. Mary was greatly troubled at his words and wondered what kind of greeting this might be. But the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary. You have found favor with God. You will conceive and give birth to a son, and you are to call him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. The Lord God will give him the throne of his father David, and he will reign over Jacob's descendants forever. His kingdom will never end. How will this be, Mary asked the angel, since I am a virgin? The angel answered, The Holy Spirit will come on you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. You. So the Holy One to be born will be called the Son of God. Then Elizabeth, your relative, is going to have a child in her old age, and she who was said to be unable to conceive in, is in her six months. For no word from God will ever fall. I am the Lord's servant, Mary answered. May your word to me be fulfilled. Then the angel left her. The word of God. Tayo po ay mag-umpisa sa ating uh, series ngayong December, Portraits of Christmas. At sa araw na ito, pag-usapan po natin ang Portraits of Christmas, yung sa life po ni Mary. So as we prepare our hearts this uh, for Christmas sa pagtanggap at pagsamba sa hari at tagapagligtas who was born 2,000 years ago and reflect sa lahat na kahulugan ng Christmas para sa atin, sa palagay ko medyo beneficial na makikita natin ang Christmas na tradition through the eyes of someone who was not only there but at the very center of the exciting happening. So let us see Christmas through the eyes of Mary. May isang bata na tinanong po siya, what is a Christmas tree? Sabi po niya, ma'am, a Christmas tree is a symbol for Christmas. Sabi ng guro, very good. So ikaw naman, uh, uh, Mr. Uh, De La Cruz, what is a Christmas tree? Ma'am, a Christmas tree is um, decoration during Christmas. Very good. So what about you, Johnny, what is a Christmas tree? Ma'am, Christmas 1 plus Christmas 2 equals Christmas 3. Sa araw po na ito, pag-usapan natin ang uh, meaning ng tradisyon na Christmas when it comes to the fact that Jesus was uh, born in Bethlehem 2,000 years ago. So let's take a moment to consider who Mary was. Meron po maraming mga religious traditions elevate Mary to a very high place, claiming she was born sinless, that she is the queen of heaven and the mother of God and even praying to her because the thinking goes when you really want to do something sino kaya ang pinaka the best to ask him on your behalf than his mother ngunit hindi po ito ang mga issue na ating bigyan ng pansin sa araw po nito sino ba talaga itong si Mary si Mary po ay isang ordinary young girl probably sa panahon na yun Mother Drexel, siguro si Mary is about 15 or 16 years old noong ipinanganap niya ang Panginoong Isus. Hindi po siya perfect or at sinless dahil sinabi po ng Bible, Romans 3.23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Ngunit bilang isang ina, sigurado po ako na, sigurado po ako si Sir Vicky De Velos na siguro si itong si Mary, meron siyang mga inner struggles to know how to relate to her son, Jesus, the Son of God and the Savior of the world. Si Mary po ay isang, uh, meron po siyang extraordinary love for God in faith in God. Ito po ang karakter ni Mary na napakandang uh, gayahin. 
Meron po siyang extraordinary love for God and faith in God. Si Mary po ay isang godly young woman na merong malalim na moral character that is truly impressive. Kasi hindi po siya pipiliin ng Diyos kapag ang moral character niya ay hindi po uh, impressive sa harapan ng Panginoon. At alam na ni Mary ang nakasulat sa Biblia. Kung basahin po natin ang uh, Magnificat ni Mary, ito pong tinatawag na The Song of Mary, isa po ito sa The Most Beautiful Songs in the Bible. Kung gusto po natin makikita ang meaning ng Pasko, ng Christmas through the eyes of uh, Mary, ito po ay nagumpisa doon sa biglaan at nakakalitong pagbisita ng anghel sa kanya at ito po ang binasa natin in Luke 1, 26-38. Si Mary po at the time ay isang teenager living in a small town called uh, Nazareth. Siya po ay ikakasal na sa, ibang, sa isang mabuting tao na ang pangalan ay si Joseph. She wakes up expecting this day to be just another day in her life, Sister Jolly. At meron, pong, meron po siyang uh, mabuting uh, dahilan to expect that uh, that day. Dahil po sa loob ng 400 years, uh, alamin natin, sa loob ng 400 years, there has been silence from God. 400 long years silence, tahimik, walang mga propeta, no words of the Lord, no miracle, silence, 400 years of silence. At hindi alam ni Mary that on that day, doon po sa langit, mayroong meeting. God called the angel Gabriel at sinabi sa kanya, Gabriel, it's time. Sabi ni Gabriel, saan po ninyo ako gustong uh, papuntahin, Lord? Sabi ng Panginoon, a little town in Galilee called Nazareth. to a virgin who is betrothed to be married. Yan. Kaya ang mga ang kaya nga ang anghel na si Gabriel who stands in the very uh, presence of God pumasok bigla doon sa silid doon sa room na kinaroroon na nitong si Mary and broke the 400 years brother Robert of silence with a promise. Ito po ang pangako o promise that thousands of years promises from God were about to be fulfilled. So it was that promise that God was about to uh, to impact history by entering history. So sabi ng angel, you will bear a son, the angel promises, and you are to name him Jesus for he will be the son of the most high and will sit on the on David's throne and rule forever. So alam po ba ninyo ang linyang ito, itong mga statement na uh, kasasabi ko lang napaka-familiar para sa atin na medyo hindi na tayo nasusurprise. Nito kahit konti. Uh, narinig na natin ang daan-daang mensahe tungkol rito. Umawit tayo ng mga Christmas carols, daan-daang mga Christmas carols and sent thousands of Christmas cards with this message on it. Ito po ay napaka-familiar, so expected that we have to work just to keep a sense of wonder in it. Ngunit itong si Mary didn't have to work up a sense of wonder. Natakot po siya, kinabahan, nasyak po si Mary sa announcement ng angel at na-confuse. At um, kaya niya lamang tinanong, ang tanong na, kaya nga tinanong niya yung question na Sister uh, Vicky, uh, Sister Joy Baknutan, yung tanong na, how can this promise be fulfilled? How is it even possible since I am a virgin? Yan po ang sabi ni Mary. So at sinabi ng angel sa kanya that the power of the Holy Spirit will overshadow you uh, so that the son that you are going to bear will literally be the son of God. For nothing is impossible with God. Kaya ang mga teenage, ang teenager na ito, teenage girl na ito na si Mary, Uh, na pinalaki sa isang ordinary, sa isang humble family in an ordinary small town. May ginawa siyang bagay na extraordinary. Itong si Mary is an ordinary girl with an extraordinary faith. She believes God's promise. Ito po ang kanyang ginawa. Siya po ay naniniwala sa mga pangako ng Diyos. Uh, si Romel Paredes and the sister Jo Paredes. She submits herself to God's will at sinabi niya, I am the servant of the Lord. Let God do all that He, he has said He will do. Kaya nga, sasabi ni Dan Muen yung awit ni Dan Muen, doon niya yung kinuha yung Be it unto me according to your word according to your promises 
I can stand secure, carve upon my heart the truth that sets me free. According to your word, O Lord, be it unto me. Yan po, dyan po kinuha yan ni Dan Moen. So, ang bagay na nakaka-amaze kay Mary, mga kapatid, is that when God spoke promises that were too big, too impossible, napakahirap, at napakalayo, paniwalaan, Mary believed them. She took God at His word. Napakahirap po, mga kapatid, para kay Mary. God had favored her. Uh, tayo sa, uh, yan po ang uh, sinabi ng anghel sa kanya. She would uh, proclaim in her song that all generations would call her blessed. But God's favor and God's blessings ay hindi palaging nangangahulugan na maging madali ito and things didn't come easy for Mary. Hindi po ito napakadali kay Mary. Alam na natin ng istorya, malapit na si Mary ikakasal kay Joseph, ang kanilang uh, uh, at uh, na kan- kanyang magiging uh, uh, sila po ang dalawa ay magiging mag-asawa. Maaring maraming mga marites sa panahon po ni Mary. Nung mga mari, ano ang latest, no? Maraming mga marites sa panahon ni Mary na tinichismis siya na siya ay buntis na walang ama. Uh, ilang uh, linggo pa bago si siya manganak si Cesar uh, ang ito pong kahirapan na pinagdaanan ni uh, Mary na hindi madali sa kanya uh, si Cesar Augustus nag-declare ng isang census na lahat ng mga tao ay pupunta doon sa Bethlehem kaya ito si Mary buntis siya malapit na mga anak pagdating niya doon no room in the inn at doon siya sa stable ng anak lamang siya, ngunit wala siyang matutuluyan, wala siyang masisilungan. Finally, in the stable, she gives birth to Jesus. In all heaven, breaks out. Angels appear to shepherds so come rushing over to the stable to see Jesus. Wise men travel long distances to worship the newborn king. Diba? So as we see, Christmas through the eyes of Mary, mayroong mga bagay ako na iiwanan sa inyo sa araw po na ito na matutunan mula kay Mary. Ito po, Mary treasured and pondered. In the book of Luke 2.19, but Mary treasured up all these things, pondering them in her heart. At doon po sa Luke chapter 2, drops us into the moment shortly after the birth of Jesus, nung biglang lumitaw yung mga angels suddenly appeared to some shepherds keeping watch in the fields and telling them that the Savior has been born and the sign shall be a baby in a manger wrapped in swaddling clothes. Diba yung kaawit na angels we have heard on high singing sweetly on the plain and the mountains and reply echo back their joyous scream. Ho, 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 ho. Yan, yung awit na yan. So Mary treasured and pondered. Hindi siya, hindi lang siya, hindi niya lang ito iniisip, isinapuso pa niya ito ang nangyari sa gitna ng uh, napakaraming hirap, napakaraming uh, uh, paliwanag at mahirap intindi na pangyayari, she process it internally by treasuring and pondering. At tayo rin po as we reflect on the meaning of Christmas this Christmas season, we want to do more than gather information. Hindi lamang natin iisipin kung ano ang ginawa ni Kristo sa atin, we want to treasure all that Jesus did for us in our hearts. Si King Herod po, gustong-gusto ng information tungkol kay Jesus, ngunit naging bulag po siya sa kahulugan ng kapanganakan ni Kristo. Diba? Ang mga wise men uh, followed the star, hindi lang kumuha ng uh, information tungkol kay Jesus, but to treasure Him with worship and costly gift. Diba, Brother Excel at Brother uh, Robert? Kaya sana sa Paskong ito, mga kapatid, huwag tayo maging katulad ni King Herod. Maging katulad po tayo ng mga wise men. Maging katulad po tayo ni Mary, treasuring and pondering in our hearts all that is Jesus, all that Jesus is and that Jesus means to us. Another thing which is last na i-ano ko, yung Mary believed God's promises. Ang totoong Christmas is all about God keeping His promises. Si Jesus po ay ang pangako ng Diyos na uh, naisa katuparan, the fulfillment of the promise of God. Let us all learn the meaning of Christmas through the eyes of Mary that it was not easy for Mary. Pagkatapos ng mga maraming tao ng katehimikan, when the promise finally came, Sister Jolly Douglas, and promise na iyon ay naging sanhi ng, uh, ng gulo sa kanyang buhay, threaten her betrothal, sumira sa kanyang reputasyon at pinalitan ang kanyang bawat plano para sa kanyang buhay. So there was 
pain in the promise. There usually is. Kaya nga, mga ilang araw pagkatapos na ipinganganak si Jesus, they took him to be circumcised. At mayroong matandang tao doon na si Simeon na he took Jesus in his arms, Brother Drexel, at sinabi niya, Lord, you promised to me that I would see your salvation with my own eyes before I died. I can die in peace now for you have kept your promise. At biglang sinabi ni Simeon, na this boy will be the cause of the rise and fall of many in Israel. At tinitigan niya itong si Mary at sinabi ni Simeon kay Mary, Mary, and the sword will pierce your own soul too. Ayan. Meron pong pain in the promise of Mary, ngunit she believed God at His word. Not perfectly, she faltered a bit in her faith. She struggled at times to believe Jesus was uh, who God uh, said He was. At one point sa life ni buhay ni Mary, sumali siya doon sa paniniwala ng mga kapatid ni Jesus thinking that Jesus was out of his mind. So, Mary faltered but she never stopped believing God's promises. Ang pangako ng Christmas sa inyo ngayon sa araw na ito that nothing is impossible with God. Jesus came to do the impossible, saving us. At sinabi ng Bible sa atin ang ginawa ito ni Jesus dahil He loved us that much. God loves us that much. At kung mga ilang basis na yata tayo nakarinig nito, that we should pause and treasure that uh, things, ponder that in our heart, God loved us so much that He sent His Son, Jesus Christ, over to death, punished Him for our sin, and He could adopt you and me as His children. Sinabi niya, don't just call me God, call me Father, and don't be afraid. It is my good pleasure to give you the kingdom. And He proved that by giving you His promised Son, Jesus Christ. Hindi ko alam kung ano ang inyong struggle sa araw na ito. Basta ang ano lang natin, sundin natin si Mary na we are going to trust, believe, and ponder the promises of God because these promises are true. So ang totoong Christmas is about God's promises. Let us believe the promises of God just like Mary. God loves you. He is your Heavenly Father. Siya po ay niligtas tayo sa ating kasalanan by the Savior born on that Christmas morning 2,000 years ago. So let us put away doubt, let us put away ne- negativity, and put away cynicism. Let's believe our faithful God at His Word. At dito po sa ating pagtutok sa kapanganakan ni Kristo, tandaan po natin na namatay siya para sa atin. At isa sa ating pagsamba ay ang magpartake ng ating communion. So tandaan po natin ang sinabi ni Jesus, na kinuha niya yung bread at sabi niya, This is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. After supper, he took the cup saying, This cup is the new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, you proclaim the Lord's death until he comes. Tayo po ay manalangin. Father in heaven, thank you so much for the message that we can understand the meaning of the real meaning of this traditional Christmas that Jesus is the fulfillment of your promise that you are going to send a savior for the whole world. And thank you that you love the world so much that you gave your only son Jesus Christ to die for us that whoever would believe on him shall not perish but have everlasting life. May our Christmas tradition celebration with our family be meaningful as we ponder upon Christmas through the eyes of Mary. This is our prayer in the name of Jesus. Amen.